Welcome to this Giftworks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can transition from using the desktop version of Giftworks to using Giftworks Anywhere. The transition process is simple. All you need to do is move your Giftworks database from your local computer to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage locations. And let me show you how you can do that. In this case, you'll see that my this is my desktop version of Giftworks. I'm using a database called My Donor Data that is stored in the My Documents folder. Uh, on my computer. Now yours might be, uh, your, your Giftworks database might be stored on a server location or a shared folder of some sort. So simply verify where your data is, your Giftworks database is, and then be prepared to move that database or copy that database. So in this case, I'm going to show you that in the My Documents folder, in a folder called Giftworks Database, I have this Giftworks database called MyDonorData.GDS. Your Giftworks database will end with the extension GDS. So the, the, the one thing I need to move to transition from the desktop version to Giftworks Anywhere is to simply transfer or make a copy of this um, and copy it up to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location. And the way I can do that is by using the Giftworks Anywhere uh, file explorer. And to get at that, first I'm going to close this. And you'll notice in the lower right hand corner I have a gray icon. That's my uh, Citrix Zen app um, connection. Um, to my Giftworks Anywhere servers. Um, it's gray because I am not connected, so I simply need to right click and log on. And then using my username and password, connect to the Giftworks Anywhere servers, and the gray icon turns blue. And once that's done, I can simply click on it, and I have the available applications that I can choose from. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to use begin by using the File Explorer for Giftworks. This File Explorer for Giftworks is simply a little program that I can use to, um, to manage files not only on the Giftworks Anywhere or in the Giftworks Anywhere file storage, but also um, I can use it to transfer files between my computer and the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location. Let me move this over. This file storage, if you're a Windows user, you're probably familiar with uh, this, this file explorer, its uh, look and functionality. And this file explorer simply, needs, uh, simply allows me to manage my files, not only on the Giftworks Anywhere file storage, but also between um, the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location and my local computer. Keep in mind when you're looking at these folders, what you're looking at is the file storage locations that are available up on Giftworks Anywhere. The first two drives, which if you've already watched a video about file storage locations, then you're probably familiar with the G and the H drive. The G drive is your group drive. That is the, um, the, uh, the drive that contains all the files that will be shared amongst all your Giftworks Anywhere users in your organization. And the H drive is your personal drive where you can store personal files where only you that is, uh, as a Giftworks Anywhere user that you have access to. And then you'll also remember that the D dollar sign and C dollar sign are what's called virtual drive mappings back to your local computer. And we'll go over those in a moment. So in this case, I'm going to want to copy my, the Giftworks database that's located on my local computer up to this G drive. So to copy from my local computer up to the G drive on Giftworks Anywhere, I'm going to simply use one of the for, uh, I'm going to use one of the virtual drive map drives. Um, I can start with the C dollar sign. The C dollar sign represents a pathway back to my local computer from the Giftworks Anywhere file storage locations. And so I can click on the C drive. Keep in mind that now I'm looking at my local computer, and in this local computer, I'm going to simply find um, where my Giftworks database is. So I'm going to go down to Administrator, and it's on my local machine. And I'm going to go to Administrator's Documents. I'm going to wait for this open. Keep in mind that, that now this is looking at my the files that are located on my local computer. And I'm going to click on the Giftworks database folder, which has my donor data.gds. Now what I need to do is simply be able to copy this, make a copy of this local, uh, this my donor data.gds, that is my Giftworks database on my local computer. And I need to copy it to the G drive, that is the file storage location up on Giftworks Anywhere. And to do that, I can simply drag it from um, the my computer or from the file that's stored on my local computer, drag it to the G drive up on Giftworks Anywhere, and I'm just going to put it in the Giftworks database folder on the G drive. Once I drag it and drop it and let it go, and then it's going to, in just a moment, it's going to begin copying it up to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location on the G drive. So by using this virtual, uh, the virtual drive mapping, I can go from my local computer to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage and move my database or make a copy of my database so that all the Giftworks Anywhere users as part of my organization will be able to access the same database. 
So once, it's success, one, once it has successfully copied up to the Giftworks database on the G drive on the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location, I can then close the file explorer and I can start up Giftworks Anywhere. Now I'm starting Giftworks Anywhere. And the only thing I need to do now, once I've copied the, my Giftworks database from my local computer to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location, is simply choose the options link, choose select an existing database, browse, I'm going to simply browse to my computer, to the G drive, to the Giftworks database folder, and choose my donor data.gds, which is the Giftworks database that I just copied from my computer to the Giftworks Anywhere file storage location. Once I click on open, I can click on next, choose my user account, and click on, and then I can sign in and begin to use um, Giftworks Anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and verify under my donors. I know in this database I only have one donor, so I'm just going to verify that it's there. Yes, and everything looks good. So that I've successfully transitioned from using the desktop version of Giftworks to Giftworks Anywhere. Now keep in mind to avoid confusion if you've um, if you're changing from using the desktop version of Giftworks, any, uh, Giftworks to Giftworks Anywhere, you may even want to uninstall Giftworks from your local computer just to avoid some confusion about what Giftworks you're working in. So if you're going to be using Giftworks Anywhere from now on, you may want to consider uninstalling Giftworks, the desktop version, from your computer. So I hope this video has been helpful in helping you to understand how to transition from using the desktop version of Giftworks to Giftworks Anywhere. Thanks for watching.